Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across the galaxy. This is your Grand Admiral Arnold, director of the video gaming division here at the Galactic Empire. And today, we have what is going to be one of the most important Galaxy of Heroes videos you are ever going to watch this year. And that is a brand new 100% free to play and complete farming guide for two. 2020 a highly requested video lately and i took out a new project a couple months ago as you guys know i personally i don't like to just give advice and not practice it myself i started a brand new free to play account and discovered a new best way for players to come into galaxy of heroes and follow and now i'm going to explain in depth how to go about galaxy of heroes if you're a new player consider subscribing to the biggest star wars galaxy of heroes community right here for all the best tips tricks Guys, the latest information and, of course, some of the most fun you're ever going to see in this galaxy. So we got a lot to talk about. Let's just get right into it. And what I'm going to do right now is just jumpstart you straight to this gigantic overview right here. We're going to take a macro perspective of this farming guide. And then we're going to look more at a micro level of each and every one of these steps. This is going to be the blueprint for what I'm going to tell you guys today because the core of Galaxy of Heroes is chasing after all those characters on the journey guide. Padme, C-3PO, Palpatine, Thrawn, R2, D2, Jedi, Revan, Darth, Revan, Darth, Malik, the list goes on and on and on. This list right here, this graphic right here might seem overwhelming, but what I'm gonna do is start breaking down the steps of how you as well could master the hollow tables here in Galaxy of Heroes. If you are a hyperdrive bundle user, there's a link in the top right hand corner. I've already made a hyperdrive farming guide. If you're gonna kind of expedite the process and cut a lot of corners, that's the guide to check out because you're gonna be a little bit further ahead compared to these brand new free to play players here. So there are eight chapters to Arnold's ultimate farming guide today. And we're gonna talk about chapter number one. And that all comes down to our conversation. I started a couple months ago about starting a brand new account in 2020 and that is in regards to the separatist faction separatists got major reworks last year the great thing about the separatists they are very uh, free to play accessible and they're needed for one of the biggest characters out there two of them i should say padme amidala as well as general anakin skywalker this is going to be the first team you're going to farm in galaxy of heroes as you see even though we're focusing on Separatists as your first steps in galaxy of heroes we need to start building up for other things at the same time we're trying to get you genite revenue as early as possible but you need a good team in the meantime as well which is what the separatists feel in now in cantina store you could go for chopper first but i'm going to argue you're going to want to go after ahsoka tana first because ahsoka tana could be used with your eventual padme amidala that the separatists are going to be unlocking for you sometime soon now one thing i want to mention before we start moving on to the other chapters if you finish your squad arena galactic war cantina store before you finish the rest of the stuff that's fine go ahead and jump to the next chapter and farm the next squad arena character because most likely you're going to farm squad arena galactic war cantina store characters and maybe cantina battle characters a lot faster than the others so don't think you have to finish everything on this list before you move on to the next chapter if you finish the finish the squad arena character like you see uh new gunner right here move on to the next chapter and farm the next squad arena character which is Kanan. The next chapter, I call the Rise of the Phoenix. And this is where we're going to mainly focus on the Phoenix and some Rebels. And also, we're going to keep building on upon our Revan farms. Jedi Knight Revan, as well as Darth. And you're going to see some more Darth Revan farms in here. And with the Phoenix, Separatist unlocks you, Padme, and they have the building blocks for getting to General Anakin Skywalker with things such as the B2 Super Battle Droid, as well as the Magna Guard. And of course, that Jedi Knight Anakin Starfighter. Here, we're building up for the Phoenix to lead you into Emperor Palpatine and Thrawn, which should lead you eventually into RT2. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves right here. Sabine's not on this list. She's a hard note farm, not exciting. And you really don't need her at the Phoenix. You're just going to need her unlocked to eventually get the Chimera. Now, with hard battles at this point, you should be done of Count Dooku. Keep farming your Bastashan, Juhani, Zalbar, Jolie. And by this point, you should have access to Bastila, Sean, Fallen. She'll be needed for Darthin, so start that farm as early as possible guild star fleet ship it's not much is going to change because realistically you're not going to be done with those farms at this point and fleet battles you should have made some progress and now can access things like karth which is on the, the second wave of hard battles bass Lashan, as well as zalbar farm bass and zalbar if you haven't finished them on the hard battles this should expedite the process and quickly finish it off if you'll notice at this point you should be able to unlock grand master because you have a sokatano Bass Lashan, you also have Jolie, Kanan, and Ezra. Those are five Jedi right there. So right there, you should already be able to unlock Yoda as well passively just by chasing after the other types of legendary content out there. 
See, this guide works beautiful, let me tell you. Chapter three is the Empire Strikes Back. A big focus here, mostly on the Empire and as well as starting to get the rest of your Ewok hard farms in place. We could start building our way over to see through fields. A Grand Moff Tarkin gonna be incredibly important because you're gonna need him to try to get your Zeta Mat challenge accomplished. Plus, you're also gonna want Grand Moff Tarkin to get you RT because at this point, you should have Palpatine and Thrawn and you should have Vader already unlocked in five stars, six stars easy without even really farming him because of all the achievements and challenges being accomplished. So you're gonna wanna have him for your Empire team, for your capital ship because the executrix in my opinion is going to be the best capital ship and slig until you get access to things like the hans falcon cantina battles you're going to want to start farming the rest of your jedi knight revan characters such as mission and t 4 and then the tie pilot is going to be the last remaining empire character you really should need to chase after r2d2 start farming some bounty hunters because we're slowly building our way up to chewbacca and of course the hans falcon because you're going to need these pilots for their ships hard battles wrap up that basilisk sean fallen hard battle so you can get Darth Revan hopefully in the next uh, one or two chapters. Luckily with C-3PO, we've been already building you up towards C-3PO with the Elder as well as Logre. Now all we need to do is start getting an early start on those Ewoks and hopefully idealistically, if not this chapter, for sure next, start farming Droidica as well as Boss. Two very important characters and very long farm. Chapter four, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be Legends of the Old Republic. This chapter is all about finally unlocking Jedi Knight Revan for sure at this point. And you might be getting very close to unlocking Darth Revan, but to make sure you're getting there as fast as possible, make sure you farm HK-47 at this point. And Candorous Overdose should be your first Cantina farm once you finish all those other ones. And these two characters, and if you've been farming Juhani as early as I've been telling you guys, you should be done with her by the time you get to chapter four here. So by the time you finish up this chapter, you should already have your Jedi Revan for sure. You should already have your Yoda to go with that Jedi Revan. You should have your Padme. We should already have Palpatine, Thrawn. You should have r 2 if you finished up all those Empire farms to get r 2 2 And in the meantime, until you get Commander Luke, you can use r 2 2 with Padme and Madala if you'd like. So that's a Galactic Republic character. You're making great progress at this point. You already have a lot of great characters and you got a lot of great teams already built up just because you're chasing after these legendary characters and hopefully by the time you complete chapter four you should also have darth revan and of course one of your main priorities at this point is going to gear up your darth revan and your jedi Knight revan team to try to tackle the darth malik event but in the meantime while you're trying to gear up your darth revans and your jedi Knight revan teams to get darth malik that's a top priority at this point you're going to want to start farming this chapter called a new hope a lot of things mainly meant to kind of finish off that rebel farm to get you over to commander luke skywalker princess leia squad arena again if you're if you're heading to squad arena farm farm the next one which is going to be stormtrooper hot kylo ren's cantina battle is the single best farming area in galaxy of heroes because it gives you his ship and his character farm that because that is going to eventually build us up to our first order needed for galactic legends kyle which is way out there but more importantly more and more short term bba probably done with most of those guild store farms that we showed in the past we're going to mix up and show you the next batch fleet shipments you should be done at those grievous farms the darth vader and make sure you start farming the phantom and the ghost here if you don't want to do hard battle farms fleet battles i'm hoping at this point you have access to shock t and b1 if not make it a goal because we need that shock t and that B1 to start getting the General Anakin Skywalker as fast as possible. Chapter six, much of the First Order. And the, the chapter kind of explains itself. Lots of First Order farms going on here. Lots of First Order ever in the Cantina battles, Galactic War, the hard battles. I recommend you start farming things like Hux and the Sith Trooper and the Storm Trooper as early as possible. They're gonna be long farms. You're not going to have them in time for BB-8 most likely, but you want to start this as early as possible because arguably the first Galactic Legends as your long-term future goal that you should be shooting for is going to be Kylo Ren because it's just a more accessible character and you need to farm the first order before you get BB-8 for Galactic Legends race. So logically, I'm trying to get you guys start as early as possible here fleet battles at this point if you finish a lot of the other stuff we talked about you're most likely still doing shock t and b1 at this point Let's try to add things like lando's money and falcon because you're going to need lando's money and falcon for things like the radis in the future some weird requirements for that it's a long farm get on it now and by the time you finish this chapter up you should already have commander luke skywalker for sure if you haven't had uh stormtrooper han done by now but you should also have bb8 which is going to be important for our next chapter which I call the spark of the resistance. And this is going to be a lot of heavy emphasis over on the resistance, trying to get your veteran smuggler Chewbacca and Han Solo taken care of your Poe. Your Poe is going to be needed for the future Galactic Legends race. You should be finishing up your hard node farms or at least almost done with your Hawk Sith Trooper, your first order hard node farms. And Jedi Anakin is on this list because by this point, you should be very, 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 very close to finishing up Shakti and the B1 battle droid. So if you haven't farmed Jedi Anakin at this point, 
I farm him simply because he's going to be great with Padme Amidala, but you're going to need him at least just unlocked for the ship that we farmed early on for uh, General Anakin. You don't need Anakin at seven stars for the uh, General Anakin Skywalker, but he's just such a great character and he's going to be fantastic with Padme or a Jedi team. So you probably want to start farming him right now just because of that. And finally, we get the chapter eight, the final chapter when you're done farming characters from squad arena start farming non-stop the ship prestige mats because they are so hard to come across and they're so important for building up your capital ship for sure you're going to want to get the ebon hawk because you're going to need that ship in order to unlock uh, things like the radis and the finalizer hard battles we're getting to the tail end of those first order hard battle farms and now you should be going all in on the last remaining resistance characters now for fleet shipments at this point there's nothing else too important there of course you can get darth maul scimitar not a very great ship right now so you don't need to get it but if you want to make sure you get all those ships that you can't farm anywhere else you can get the scimitar but i recommend just keep using your ship currency to go get zeta map material so you can try to farm as many zetas as possible that's my personal opinion i think a lot of people would agree with that and that right there ladies and gentlemen brings you to the close of the ultimate farming guide for Ga galaxy of heroes and again this guide is mainly tailored to get you started on the right foot start building up to those legendary characters and if you follow all these chapters you should have Padme for sure as one of your first major legendaries in the game. You should have Yoda. You should have C-3PO, Palpatine, Thrawn, Jedi Revan, Darth Revan, Darth Malik, and the list goes on and on and on. BB-8, the Chimera, Chewbacca, Hans, Money, and Falcon. This guide is just mainly trying to get you to navigate through this ultimate farming guide and all these journey guide characters that we have in Galaxy Res. But of course, I didn't tell you how to farm every single character. There are so many characters that aren't needed for anything, but are just still very good teams the farm such as the night sisters getting archer finishing up nihilus farm all remaining characters in squatter in a galactic war the guild store we didn't talk about things like stark you don't really need colonel stark but you're going to want to have that's just great to have all these characters farm in case they get reworked in case they're needed for something so literally look at what you have left over if you haven't farmed it yet try to make time to farm it and of course if you're done farming everything start hoarding ship prestige mats if you're done at the cantina farms for sure you're gonna just want to non-stop farm relic materials and that right there ladies and gentlemen is gonna be your 2020 free to play farming guide in galaxy of heroes there's a lot to do in galaxy heroes i put a lot of thought into this list to show you what you should be farming in a mac review but also trying to guide you on a step by step basis through these various chapters and i'm going to take you through the star wars galaxy of heroes universe and i hope this video is going to be helpful galaxy of heroes is a long-term grind unless you spend a crazy amounts of money this guide is going to take you a couple of years to follow so uh, almost everyone who's watched this video whether you're at the beginning mid game or at that tail end there's something to learn from this video but all in all it just take the game at your own pace yes more new content is going to be coming out beyond this guide here and if you're a new player just take satisfaction and enjoyment for getting all these milestones completed as you make your way through galaxy of heroes thank you ladies and gentlemen so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy the video go ahead and hit that like button comment down below on all your thoughts and of course be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and i'll see all you lovely people in the next video peace out everybody